We have a few permanent residents at Free to Be Wild, the sanctuary. These are cases where animals come in and for some reason or other they can't be released back into the wild. It wouldn't be fair on them. So what Free to Be Wild tries to do is provide the next best option for those animals. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a resident Clip Springer who is the boss of the place. Clippy is extremely social and loves to be a part of everything that's happening. He's definitely the heart stealer of the sanctuary. Clippy's mom was killed by a leopard which left him abandoned. Then unfortunately he broke one of his horns when they were growing and because of the break the new growth of the horn started growing into the skull so we actually had to have him dehorned and we just decided with them being so territorial it wouldn't be fair to release him with half a chance of survival. So there's many cases like that that come in where they wouldn't survive and it would just be better for them to live out their days in the sanctuary but in a natural environment. They are two of our permanent residents. They are thick-tailed bush babies. Their favorite treats are worms and yogurt, strawberry yogurt. Yoda's been at the sanctuary for four years now and Marley came as a companion for Yoda about two years ago. This is Finley and Finch. They're the guard dogs of the sanctuary. These are two brothers that came to us from the Victoria Falls Wildlife Trust after they were abandoned by their family. Efforts to try and reintroduce them unfortunately failed, leaving them as permanent residents of the sanctuary. This is Peck. He was found as a wee egg at our release site. In fact, not a wee egg as ostrich eggs are huge. He was put inside an incubator, not sure if he would hatch or not, and he popped his head out a couple of weeks later. Peck is now a permanent resident at the sanctuary. He roams the gardens and keeps us entertained as he loves to break dance as well as run and forget to take his head with him. <laughs> 